How to deal with a fear of riding in elevators. Being afraid of elevators can feel debilitating and may even interfere with your work or social life. Your fear may have to do with claustrophobia, being in an enclosed space with other people, or with being stuck in a situation that would be difficult to escape should you have a panic attack. It can range from mild to severe and cause anxiety. However, you can learn to conquer your fear of riding in elevators by gradually exposing yourself to being in elevators in a controlled way, practicing a variety of relaxation and breathing techniques, and combating any negative thoughts that come up. 1. Gradually facing your fear. Make a list of everything riding in an elevator entails. This way, you'll be able to systematically approach getting over your fear, step by step. For example, some of the steps you could write down include Arriving at a new location to see that you must either ride an elevator or take the stairs. Pressing the up or down button and waiting for the elevator to arrive. Seeing how crowded the elevator is. Stepping into the elevator. Selecting your floor. Watching the door close and open. Build a fear ladder. Quote. Now that you have broken down your approach to riding elevators into steps, you can rearrange the list in order of what frightens you the least to what frightens you the most. The goal is to start with a step that may make you slightly uncomfortable but that doesn't intimidate you so that you can gradually expose yourself to your fear. For example, pressing the up or down button may not frighten you as much as waiting inside the elevator until you reach your floor, so put these steps in the appropriate order. Practice the steps in the ladder. Progress from step to step gradually. When the step is relatively simple, like pressing the button for which floor you want to go to, repeat it often until you feel less anxious. If the step is longer, like waiting inside the elevator, stay in the situation long enough that your anxiety decreases. If you expose yourself to a situation for longer, you'll feel less anxious the next time you face the challenge. The only thing not to do is to avoid your fear. Avoidance will only reinforce the notion that you should be afraid of elevators. 4. Stop if you feel overwhelmed or anxious. This is a sign that you should progress more slowly. Practice each step until you feel sufficiently comfortable with it to move on to the next. If you can, practice at a time when the elevator does not get a lot of use. It's best to use an empty elevator so that you feel less anxious and don't disrupt other people's rides. Prepare accordingly. Depending on what aspect of riding in an elevator scares you, you can plan ways to put your mind at ease ahead of time. If your fear is being enclosed in a small space with many people, and you know the elevator rush hour is at 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., practice at a time of the day when you know the elevator will be less crowded. If you worry about getting stuck in an elevator and having a panic attack, bring water and a snack with you when you practice. You can gradually stop bringing these comforting items as you get more familiar with riding in elevators. Ride different types of elevators. You may feel completely calm in an elevator with windows but become anxious in a windowless elevator. Consider this another step in your ladder to climb. Start out with the elevator with windows, then gradually try riding a windowless one. For example, riding an elevator with windows is a great starting point if what you're afraid of is being enclosed in a small space. When you start to feel claustrophobic, look out the window and breathe deeply. However, if your fear is caused by height rather than being in an enclosed space, it may be better to start by riding only in windowless elevators. Seek the help of a friend. If you are too afraid to try stepping in an elevator alone, you can add another step to your gradual approach by asking a trusted friend to accompany you during your practices. As you feel more confident being inside an elevator over time, progress to riding on your own. A friend can also help you feel more at ease by conversing with you about a topic unrelated to the elevator ride. Be patient. Getting over your fear of riding in an elevator is going to require that you practice often. Depending on the severity of your fear and on how often you practice getting used to riding in an elevator, it could take anywhere from a couple of weeks to months to get over your fear. The more you practice, the faster you will get over your fear. Even when you get over your fear and are able to ride an elevator, you still may hesitate or feel slightly on edge. This is not unusual, if you have been afraid of elevators for a long time, it will take a while for feelings of nervousness to go away. You can work on making these feelings disappear by riding elevators more often.